Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today we're going to be teaching you how can we use G Engine, okay? Uh, this is going to be for educational purposes. I'm not going to have a download link to G Engine, but let's say you perhaps made your own G Engine or you got it. How can you do this stuff, etc. You can watch this video and learn how to do it. And we're going to be doing this in a series. And the first thing we have are strings. So we're going to be doing three different things with Cheat Engine today. I'm assuming that you should know what most of the buttons do, but we'll go over those in due time. So what is a string? So a definition of a string is it's a data type used in programming as used to represent text rather than numbers. So for say, uh, near kind of uh, ban this account as well. But basically this here, this is a string. This is a string. This is a string. Anything that, like these text bubbles, they're a string. Simple. Okay, so I'd recommend you going to your settings. You're going to want to go to the video, go to window. So then we can uh, this in here and we can edit our stuff. I can zoom this out a little bit. Okay, move that over there. I can cross this out. Boom and boom. Okay, now we have our stuff here. So let's try how can we get that custom text like when we saw the pop cap develop. So we're going to be doing some uh, really simple steps here. So, okay, so first we're going to do this. So go to your cheat engine. You're going to go four bytes to string. You're going to type in ID underscore response underscore well underscore done in all caps and spaces are going to be underscores. You're going to hit first scan. There we go. You're going to click a new header. So this is going to be like a file that we've created. Let's call this sub. Okay. We're going to give this no address support. That's important. Click on the, then my bad. You're going to want to click on it. Control A. It grabs them all. Drag these down. Then right click group config high children deactivate so it makes it clean then we gain control a hold down control and get rid of this we want to go to change record we want to do value sorry i had to come in here you see how i put i in there yeah that's not supposed to happen you're supposed to get rid of the whole thing or it glitches out so we're gonna uh, go to our string. We're gonna go to this for a scan, make header, sub, okay. Okay, there we go. Something was wrong with it earlier. I'm, I'm just a silly goober, I, I forget sometimes. Okay, go like that, change record to value. We get rid of this whole thing and now it's sub to mob king 20. Okay, now we go to welcome. Sub to Mob King 20. We've just successfully changed the value. Now, what if now you see this works for everyone that can see, okay? What if you don't want a person to see this, but only you can see it? So let, let let's do that, okay? So we can go back to our cheat engine. Let's go to our new new scan. Let's go for hello. Let's do for a scan. Okay, we have a lot of hellos here. So we're gonna call this high as it doesn't matter. You can grab this and grab here, make this all nice. A you can change record the value. And then I can go uh I like food. Something random I got. Now should I like food. Now only I will see this but nobody else will. Also, by doing this, you can, some of the messages may get messed up. Like this one just says Fooj for some reason. So by doing this, you may get some other stuff changed. But besides that, basically that's how you can make it so only yourself can see. Now, let's do something really fun, okay? Let's get a debug menu, okay? So as you can see here, we're going to go for change record, value, and then this is going to be QA debug, okay? Let's go back here. By warping home, it basically kind of resets it. You can go quit game, and we have our thing. Sometimes when switching strings and stuff, your thing may crash if you have a very bad version like mine. Don't worry, next time we're going to have an updated version that won't crash on us. So basically, what we have here, so the way you're going to navigate this is... 
your up and down arrow key and your left to right arrow keys those are going to be how you can move stuff and then how do we move to bars you cannot click on them you have to use q or e so a lot of these don't work except a few some people have gotten them to work with art money a another program but we aren't using art money so let's show you our first one Okay, so we're in Giddy Park. So let's go to the quick game. And then let's scroll down. And then by hitting enter, what? we can suicide. Now, let's show you the next thing we can do. Let's head over to our target range. Welcome back. Now we're at our target range. Let's go quick game. Then we can go to the sandbox. Down. Triple damage. Click on that. Now we do triple damage. And this applies for abilities too. And then for one last thing, we have a little funny thing we can do here. Let's go for, uh, let's go down to progression. Then we can go all the way down to black market. <laughs> Temporarily remove, sorry. Talk to Jeff. See if you need this put back in. Okie dokie. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Also, in the uh, next the next video, we will be uh, learning on how can we uh, play as a gnome. Yes, you hear me right. Next episode, we'll be playing as a gnome. So, I hope to see you tomorrow, and goodbye.